that um, from New York. Um, I am uh, Native American and African American. I belong to the Amasi Seminole Creek people. Um, definitely resonate as a healing and this is what I wanted to bring to this um, this space in honor of the ancestors that were here many moons ago. Um, incorporated the wood and, and the idea of the past and connecting the future and the present. These symbols are a mix of um, again the past and the present so the idea of these a lot of these symbols would be found on trade bags or what is also known as bandolier bags and also um, symbols that were found in mounds within the southeast so incorporate these these symbols and these symbolic meanings uh, we have the medicine wheel which represents the four directions um, and each color has its own representation the black one um, represents the lives of insects um, connecting to nature water uh, the red one is a, is a representation of the woman, life, um, connecting to the stars and the moon and the sun and the idea of the water and how every day is a new day. Um, and the last one is basically to honor the sky, the earth, the air, um, all, of the, all of the substance that we need to survive. Um, and that's the, and, and, and reference to give honor to the creator for everything that we have. Um, these represents the four winds. Um, definitely here to create healing. Um, definitely here to inspire healing and to acknowledge the past. I also created um, a sculpture, four sculpture pieces called the four winds. Um, the idea is to honor the medicine wheel and the healing that inspires many indigenous people from all over. Um, the medicine wheel is a symbol that acknowledges all people, um, but also it is a, a symbol that indigenous people honor because it's it's our um, symbol that acknowledges each other and all of Mother Earth and everyone who lives on Mother Earth. Uh, so that's why I feel it's important, and I wanted to create these connections through the public to allow them to see these symbols and also um, see how what interpretations or what connections, what cultural connections um, these spark, these sculptures spark to. A lot of where we stand, a lot where we live, a lot where we places we work, um, we forget that there are bodies, there are bones that live underground. Um, and many of uh, that history have been overridden because, you know, we have buildings on top of, we have beautiful parks and these bones, these bodies, these names, um, they're still here, you know, they are amongst us. And I think it's only right that we respect them. Just like uh, when we leave this place, we want people to acknowledge and respect us. So I feel uh, as an indigenous person, honoring my ancestors, this is uh, part of living and also part of the transition of uh, passing to the, to the next area of life. Um, if, I love materials for the arts because uh, 
go in there. It's a warehouse full of just material supplies, and it allows me to kind of like explore and see my work in different dimensions. Um, you know, playing around with textures or colors, and, and just being inspired. Um, I did receive some items, some fabrics that definitely helped me kind of like play around with the color and art, and either and also the design placements. Um, but uh, uh, materials for the arts. I feel for all of the artists here who participate, it was an inspiration just to be in a place that free materials, but also just be able to see how you can reuse something and turn it into something, you know, beautiful. But the sculptures is also the idea of um, research and thinking more about how symbols connect to us and our culture and our identity and how that evolves and, and how sometimes it's forced to, it's forced to evolve. But um, the bigger picture is to uh, kind of um, things that you don't learn in school, our histories that are no longer talked about for different reasons, um, to hold on to these stories because they're important for our future, to know the real stories because every day, you know, as we see right now, our government is changing names, changing, you know, different locations um, for different reasons. But it's, you know, we cannot forget our past which is very important that also the past inspires our future.